Sadly, the story ended in the same way they all do. The letters in the story spelled out, look behind you. I rolled my eyes. I've read so many with the same twist that I'd pretty much become numb to it. Under normal circumstances, I might have actually looked behind me, but that time I had my back pressed up against the wall with no room left for anything to be there. It was almost a shame. Even though I was essentially bored to death of that same word, I almost longed for something to actually be behind me so I could have a good laugh. I returned to my scrolling in search of a new story. Finally, I found one that seemed interesting. It was your typical boy who cried wolf story. I saw the twist a mile away. The father didn't believe the boy. Shocking. But it was still fun to read. Feeling a bit better about the quality of the stories I was finding, I clicked on the next one. I enjoyed the writing and the pacing until the end. The main character starts addressing to the readers. Look behind you. Oh, for fuck's sake, I muttered. Another one? This was really old now. Look, I get it. Some big scary monster behind me that the author wants me to freak out and try and see. It's just a wall. I closed out of the app and decided to take a break from the stories and get some work done. I stood and stretched my arms out. I let out a yelp as I hit my bed. Must have accidentally scooted closer to it when I sat down. Confused, I looked around. Something seemed off in my room. My bed seemed closer to me than it had before, but it was still up against the wall like always. I shrugged it off and sat back down. Must have just had some weird moment of perspective. As I relaxed back into a comfortable position, I decided that one more story wouldn't hurt. I reopened my phone and clicked the next link. To my surprise, there was no story there. Just three words. Look behind you. I shut my phone off with a growl. What the hell was going on tonight? Did I miss a contest announcement or something? I rolled my eyes and stood up. Then I hit my head on the ceiling. I yelped in pain and crouched back down. That wasn't right. I was only 5'2". Even if I'd somehow accidentally jumped, I couldn't have hit my head. My heart started pounding as I realized the room wasn't still. The walls were growing closer. Eventually, I could hardly move. I tried to scream for help to no avail. Soon, I could barely breathe. I said a silent prayer, asking what to do and what was going to happen to me. Then I knew. I looked behind me. On my wall was a single word. 